Hello everyone! Calderay Rocks strikes again! Hi! And this is the one and only Mona Meyer. Hi guys! We nice are, to meet you! <laughs> we are in an elevator and I, I would say this is an elevator pitch. Mona Meyer, could you say something about you as a nomad and a professional teacher woman? Well, thanks for uh, introducing me and Let's make it short, so the elevator will will uh, bring us to level minus one within 15 seconds. That's a very, very short introduction. So I'm an entrepreneur, as uh, Marge just introduced um, me. What, what does it mean? It basically means that I work from everywhere, anywhere, anytime. Uh -huh. And, and um, my main job is, let's put it this way, I... I, I teach in entrepreneurship and human resource management and in my free time, which does actually not exist because my week Ooh. starts on Sundays and ends on Saturdays, Gosh. is I work on my DBA, that's the Doctor of Business Administration. So mm -hmm. I'm doing my last academic step and, and um, yeah, that's, that's in a... Rough in a nutshell. nutshell. Mona Meyer in a nutshell. More just in a second. Thanks. Calderay Rocks. Here we are at the airport of Basel. It's called the Euro Airport. And next to me is the fantastic Mona Meyer. Hi again. Yeah, hi again. So the first question I want to know about digital experts and digital nomads traveling worldwide is uh, about your baggage. You know, a simple question about your baggage. Do you have yeah. any preferences? Yeah, reduce the max is the key. So uh, whenever possible, I just uh, travel with my hand luggage and that's it. Okay. So my essentials in there is my laptop, my passport, um, my digital agenda from Moltke. What else? Um, lipstick. Oh gosh, because, lipstick. Well, yeah, that's a must. And my, my black eyeliner. <laughs> so that's a diversity issue as a digital nomad woman, I understand. But uh, I may refer to something you just mentioned, you know, when we are traveling here to the airport um, about, about when you're coming home. You know, there is, I have to say, this is a total unique original copyright advice by Mona Meyer of Switzerland. How, how are you going to get home, you know, about the thing you do there? He's talking about uh, I come back and the clothes is clean. So basically I let my, my used clothes be washed at the city or wherever I was just staying. Um, let them dry clean, wash them by myself. So whenever I go back home, everything is clean and I just can't put it in my closet. So I don't have to worry about cleaning and washing my stuff when I got home. Yeah. Do, do you know that? Do you, uh, did you ever do that? I, I don't. I will try it the next time, you know, coming home with a total fresh clothing package. Just open the bag and place it in the cupboard. That's it. You so know. It, it is basically, again, about... Ooh. Uh, making life easier, so it yeah. is. More in a minute. So here we are again, you know. Hi. It, this is still Mona Meyer. Um, as a digital nomad woman, I'm totally interested to hear about, you know, digital helpers and how you get organized while you're traveling. And you mentioned to me now, you know, the digital agenda. Can you explain us how you work while traveling? Yes, it's uh, basically one of many looks like this, so nothing really <laughs> rocket science. Uh, the magic or the, what is different about this agenda, it's highly digitalized, meaning that whenever I take notes, um, we barely can see yeah, it. Yeah, you can see this it, is, but it's full of notes. Right, so this is the, the pen for it, and uh, what it does is I can, I can connect it with my application on my mobile. So I have my notes here, Good. and the next step would be, um, how do you call it? Like, yeah. Um, the transfer, you know, yeah. it goes. Just imagine this. She does something on the paper agenda, pushes the button there to mail from the paper 
Yeah. To mail it. You cannot corner. see it here, but there... I can I can mail it with a person I just had the meeting or a kickoff. Yep. So basically what happens is only one person take notes and um, I can transfer it to the person by email right in the minute. Um, and I can do some changes and, and color and, and take some other notes and put some comments or um, how do you call them? Like marking, like whenever I search for, a, for, for an older um, content, mm -hmm. I can I can type in a keyword and it will it will look up for it for me. So so this is one of gosh one of my gadgets I really love. Um, other gadgets little uh, magic helpers, you know, <laughs> magic little helpers. magic helpers while traveling as a digital yeah. nomad. So what else? What else? Uh, let me see. I got this memo bottle. Um, gosh, fancy thing. Uh, the the thing about it is it does not need a lot of space in, in your bag so mm -hmm. so it's sleek yeah. it's light and it's reusable yeah. so what comes next is it makes my life easier that I don't have to spend lots of money just to um, have some water in my bag yeah. um, I can tell you to look in her handbag <laughs> is also a miracle but I don't unclose any details what it's else? a special handbag. Is it? And yep. then, of course, I have my laptop oh, always gosh. with me. And yeah, you're loving. Yep. I'm, I'm sure you're loving about my sleeve, right? Nice. Right? So, um, <laughs> because. It's, it's a typical bookkeeping sleeve, you know, <laughs> yeah. made of plastic. It's incredible. Why I'm using it? Because it just fits my laptop. Mm -hmm. um, it does not need a lot of space. Okay. Yep. And it's very cheap, and I can. Um, exchange it whenever it gets damaged or not nice anymore so it only cost me like 50 cents yeah okay so that was some kind of wrap-up secret magical gadgets and little helpers from Mona Meyer when she's traveling now about her work in a minute so the next question is about your work your main work as I understand is in the University of Applied Sciences in and Arts in Northwestern Switzerland right. where you teach also things like design thinking and uh, what about the rest? I understand you have two disciplines you're yeah. teaching. So entrepreneurship is one of the uh, disciplines and the other one is human resource management. Okay, uh, what, what, what is about human resource management? You know, it's a big issue, it's a big keyword. Is there a specific issue you are uh, tackling with your students? Yeah, mainly we're talking about the main processes of the, of the human resource management, starting with the planning of, of the resources that a company needs and ending with the, um, yeah, with leaving or, yeah, um, how do you call it, like rejecting the employees. So basically from planning to, to recruitment, also how to, how to, what's the word for it? Um, Onboarding or new no, employees? Like when, when you want to, to keep them, retention uh -huh. management uh -huh. basically, yeah. it's called retention management. Okay. And also about um, how you develop your, 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 um, your employees mm -hmm. and uh, performance management uh -huh. and uh, performance, um, um, performance management and uh, gosh, what's the word for it? What? What, 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 when you have incentives? Uh -huh, yeah. yeah, incentives with the employees. Yeah. Yes, and then yeah, when it comes to to and mm -hmm. uh, where the employer or employee leave the company. Also, that means also these are strategies for continuous improvement and further education. You know, in a way, to to provide better performance to the employees and maybe also possibilities of developing themselves in the corporation. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And the other part, as I understand, is uh, the entrepreneurship. The entrepreneurship. Where, I love it. Where the word design thinking <laughs> yes. that you mentioned uh, before is one content yeah. of <laughs> lots others. So, mm -hmm. what do you want to know there? 
Well, the design thinking process, you know, often the people say it's a holistic approach, you know, to an issue, tackling with students and improvising. Uh, do you do some kind of rapid prototyping things as well? I saw a lot of pictures from your daily work about post-it, you know, with little notes and making brainstorming. Right, right. So we did a wallet challenge, basically. Mm -hmm. So that was um, uh, like doing the, the, using the method it's actually a method mm -hmm. uh, using this method in developing um, a wallet that 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 um, gosh <laughs> the wallet well that, to, that. to collect ideas ideating or ideating is is one part of the whole process where the needs of of your partner um, is being asked and the other student or your other partner tries to develop mm -hmm. um, this wallet to um, to fulfill your needs mm -hmm. so this wallet challenge was a fun um, workshop and that's where students uh, learned mm -hmm. how, how the whole method can be used uh, of course you can use it for different other challenges you can take any business challenge um, it does not has necessarily to do with a product at the end. You can mm -hmm. use services yeah. uh, and and put your challenge and and try to develop something around it. Yeah. So you can use the whole this method also in a five day workshop mm -hmm. okay. where where you really go in depth and develop those things using other tools. So mm -hmm. let's say you can use. Um, uh, the persona template where you where you actually uh, try to 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 yeah to to yeah. Uh, give this person mm -hmm. your your end customer a face mm -hmm. with its value and what it's important what's important for this person and and uh, what, what behavior does this person have what's what who are the influencers of this person? So at the end, you can understand this person. It's about understanding what the needs are. Okay. So you can you can um, define and be more concrete in what you want to develop at the end for your market. Mm -hmm. If you don't have those answers, how mm -hmm. how do you know um, if this is the end product or end service that the end consumer or customer wants? Thank you for this insight, Mona Meyer. So I think there is an enriched, you know, impulse or input about creating and brainstorming and developing business ideas as an entrepreneur, as a digital nomad entrepreneur. More about that a special project of yours in just a second. Here we are again. Now you see we are in a train. Here you see the one and only Mona Meyer. You know, digital nomad, design thinking, teacher, um, woman. Hi again. Yeah, hi again. And I know that you just started a complete new project. It's called Stay a While. It has to do with nomad. It has to do with moving around, co-working, third workplace, whatever. Um, can you explain us the details of, uh, I think, really this fantastic, fantastic new project well to be honest um, it was initiated from one of my students so it's not my own idea and uh, my part in this whole whole thing about stay a while is that I inspire and motivate my students to to try it out because they can't lose anything about it and I think uh, the trend about the sharing economy about the digital uh, pace we live in it's just the right moment to start this project and actually initiate it so yeah show us the logo there is a logo it oh was, my god you, you what, cannot see it can you um, uh, you can yeah. oh hold on hold on you saw it there was it, it it's a problem of the light here but that's typical Codure rocks here. now yeah, you see it a... you see the logo it's on Instagram stay a while so if you're interested to know more about it the ongoing projects or maybe to participate in a way so the outcome is still open please go to instagram 
look for stay a while, get connected, you know, and, and write a message even. So the first thing about get connected, that's, that's one thing. What we are keen about is that we want to grow this, this community. It's actually like a, um, a social community mindset that we want to follow. So if you want to be part of it, uh, message us. So leave a message on Instagram and we'll get back to you and hopefully we can grow the community together. So basically, we didn't explain what yeah. Sail About is about. Exactly. So it is about, um, imagine a co-working or a single working space in the atmosphere of a different or another living room. So if I have my own desk at home, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, because I mainly also work from home, and want to change the environment, want to see something else, and want to still concentrate on my work, have my have my cup of uh, coffee beside me, have a printer, and have just like the standard stuff that I need to do or need to have for my work, I can see or seek for a different location to do the same. So it is about a uh, desk surfing thing, so if you think about couch surfing, how yeah. they started. Yeah. It is about this um, thinking or mindset that we want to create with Stay A While. Wow, cool. Desk surfing, did you know, did you hear that? I, I know about this couch surfing issue or or, or this, uh, I think, blah blah car, you know, where you surf in the, in, in the taxis, taxi surfing, couch surfing, now comes desk surfing with Stay A While. Thank you very much. Sure. Next details in a second. Here we are. You know, you see, there is a bicycle station. The thing for travelers as well. You know, it's all so the dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> so digital nomads are everywhere. They take everything they can get to travel to move on. Now we have the Mona Meyer still with us. And I have a question. We talked about, stay a while, about this project of you, you know, right. be a digital nomad, right. share a desk. I know that you're traveling quite a lot of time to Vancouver. So Indeed, yeah. So um, could you imagine that you take your stay a while idea to Vancouver? Of course, why not? Um, it's, it's basically a project or idea that can be implemented everywhere. So mm -hmm. yeah, so next time, hopefully next summer, um, I may introduce my idea to my friends uh, and, and uh, partners who I know there and uh, have a pilot or trial project. And yeah, we'll, we'll have a second second home base then from, from and for Stay A While. Yeah, yeah true yeah, nomad style. Truly. And for the future, could you tell us maybe something? Do you have still other projects? I know I understand you're an uh, omnipresent, busy woman. And um, do you have a project for 2018? What's the right, what, what's the right uh, answer for it? <laughs> Is there any right answer for this kind of question? I'm not sure, but do you have some of exploring, go deeper into it? I think things will pop up and basically I will try to, to focus or go deeper into them or just leave them. So I take it as it comes, like in many situations in my life take things as they come right. and make the best out of it. And I know another statement of you is eat dessert first. Yeah, so... I totally like it, I have to say. And thank you, totally. Thank you very much, Mona Meyer. My for, pleasure. For being in this interview with Cadre.rocks. My pleasure. See and you. Goodbye to everyone.